Boyo Tropical! Boyo Tropical! Uh, uh. Boyo Tropical! Uh, uh. Cuban food! Cuban Ooh. food! There's cheesy yucca bites, sweet plantains, wedge fries, <laughs> and some chicken and churrasco! Hello! Oh. Like a hole! Like a hole! We're eating Cuban food. Cuba? 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 Oh, look, here, here, here. Let me let me showcase some of the food she got for us. First off, so this is Pollo Tropical, guys. Pollo Tropical is a fast food Cuban food. This is a half chicken with black bean, rice and black beans. Uh, this is churrasco, okay, with oh, the, the, the platter. This is platters, okay. This is with um rice and beans too, and a piece of bread. Um, I got dark meat only because, of course, unless I'm trying to be healthy, I'm not going to get white meat, okay? Breast chicken breast is white meat, no? Yeah, chicken breast is white meat. Um, look, these are like potatoes cooked differently. This is the side the fries, but the wedge fries is very good. Oh, wedge fries. Very crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yucca bites. Yucca bites. It's yucca is a form of potato. Like, like a family potato, like sweet potato and yes, yeah, a cassava. I think cassava. Yeah. Yeah, 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 in the family. It's also like a root. Yeah. In my grandma, in my in my grandma's village, yeah, we have yucca plants, and so like, they would dig it out, and every day they would cut. I think some part of the plant is poisonous or something, and so there's like a way they have to. Cut it, and then they make like yummy. They, they can even just fry the yucca, and it's really good. So, what sauce does this go you with? You should taste without first, and then and then. Mmm. Mmm. Right. And even by itself, honestly, it's good. This is the pineapple rum sauce. There's like it feels like there's a bit of cheese, or is there no cheese? Yeah, cheesy yucca bites. Uh -uh. It's called cheesy yucca bites. Mm-hmm. Does taste like yucca. Then there's this one thing that like my boyfriend that I met in Macau, American boyfriend, was like saying always that he misses plantains. Um I never knew what it is because Macau we didn't have plantains. And so we got plantains! Really, like you can find plantain anywhere, and like, wow, dang! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. I love how dark it so is. Plant so plantain, I know. And so fried plantains, like we they have it in Jamaican food too. Uh, goes with jerk chicken. Caribbean food. Mm, Caribbean food. Yes, it has. And yeah, and Cuban food. So Pollo Tropical is the logo. Pollo Tropical. Oh. And um, yeah, it's like a, obviously fast food version, but it's still good. It's like- It came so quickly too. Yeah. It's like, um, you know, obviously there's gonna be actual, um, yeah, let's show it off real well. There, There's actual Cuban restaurants around in Florida, obviously, um, but uh, this is the first time Yasmin ever had Pollo Tropical because she is from New York, okay? So, I would, I would eat them. Okay, eat it with the mate. Uh, let's do this. Do you like, um, are you the type of person to uh, eat one thing and mm. then, and then so, like finish? Or are you the type to mix it all in one bite, like all the flavors? So, if it's feijoada, the Brazilian feijoada, I mix it with my. Hmm, my the rice beans and then they have we have this like um, breaded powder. I forgot what it was called. Like a seasoning, almost like croutons, but a lot smaller. Ooh. Oh god, I forgot farofa, and I would mix that and with meat, and then the meat is always on the side. But I don't know. Do I mix? No, I mean like when you have like one bite of food, like do you like get chicken and then like get everything mixed in your mouth, like. Or you put one, you put 
a meat in your mouth, finish that, and then like have rice like after. I would go for like one bite of meat and then rice, mixed with beans. Mixed with beans, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then plantains also. I yeah. Would do. Okay, so, so some people finish like all the meat, all the rice. Okay, no, 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 exactly. No. Here is I your cannot do that. <laughs> So I did half chicken and so there's Oh, shit. Uh, beef. Get more. All right. So good. Mm, this is the first time I tried the shirasuke. No, yeah. Okay, there's this Chinese saying, Sing Fu Hao Tian. Right? Mm -hmm. And we were saying how we like that. To get the, to eat the ones that are not that great. Yeah, and leave the best ones for last. Oh, yeah. But also when you combine the food together, like meat, rice, and beans together. Mm. It just yeah. goes so well. That's true. Plantains, bro. It adds the smokiness, mm. you know? It's like, you know how when you make jam, you put lemon to contrast the sugar? Yes. Like, blueberry jam, you have to add lemon. Yes, so this is like savory, sweet. Oh my god. Are you a savory, sweet type of person? Or are you just not open to experience? Because it's amazing, okay? But some people don't not like it, apparently. Cause like, like what? Don't like what? Like sweet and savory together. Mm. Because uh, one time someone like commented on like me, you know, saying I love a uh, honey barbecue, you know, um, chicken fries, and I was like, why is there no oh uh, honey barbecue chicken? And then someone commented on that reel saying like, because we don't we from France don't like this <laughs> disgusting mix of honey. Sweet. What's yeah like honey and Sweet and salty. Yeah. But that's the thing about food. It has to be contrast flavors. That's how you kind of like appreciate that. Yeah. Because then you, you, the other flavor like sweet comes out more, salty comes out more. Yeah, like salted caramel. Mm. Even cookie. You put a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Just a pinch. Mm. How are you liking it? It's really good. Mm. Mm. And chipotle, do you go for the black beans or the, the pinto no. beans? Black beans. Sorry. Also black beans. Black beans, crew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The pinto beans, uh, it seems watery. I don't know. Like, it just, I don't know. It's like, a, it's like dying. It looks right. like beans that are dying. That's one thing Macau should have Chipotle. Yeah. They have Subway, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It gives you massive poop, but it's too big. It looks healthy, but it's it can be pretty greasy. Like any good food. Um so Pollo Tropical or Chick-fil-A? Mm, I think I'm good with Pollo Tropical. Pollo Tropical. Right, dude, it has like, I feel like it's kind of, they have chicken breasts also if you want right. like chicken breasts, which, you know, if you wanted something healthy, go for it. And it's cheap. I mean, because yeah, Chick-fil-A, I mean, I like guess like fried chicken, right? Because there's, there's, there's so many other competitors, like even McDonald's does chicken sandwich now, which is like, Popeyes? Mm hmm. Popeyes, yeah. yeah. Okay, after you. That's true. Mm. 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 This one, I don't know how to say in Cantonese. What should you do? Let's look that up. Pantain. Oh, Pantain. Pantain. No, yeah, I tried searching it, honestly, even Taobao, because Tyler was telling me how, oh, how, how much, much he missed. missed yeah, so I'm like, no, I was trying to, like, surprise him, you know, like, look, I found something, but, like, couldn't find, but I could not find, oh, there is it. What? Thai <laughs> too. <laughs> you big but banana, because it is a banana, essentially, no. What? Thai too. Or, or, I don't know how to read this, though. I'm a pa. Pa too. This mm. Barbie, that's the Barbie. Too. Barbie. Pa. pa too. Pa too. 
you know what I noticed also in um, in Macau, Hong Kong, when you use your hands to eat, they're like, you need to use your own salsa. Oh yeah, sicka. I didn't even know, like realize what you said. No, but it. but I thought like, oh, like they're like being fancy or whatever, and so I've, I mean, I've I've developed the you know the mannerism of just using my fork like to eat any meat, like even wings, like I can, you know, except pizza. Pizza is like you have to use your hands. It's right? illegal to use fork. It's just so weird. Yeah. And um just because like also like, you know, sometimes the meat gets stuck on my nails and it's like, you know, oh my God, like it's like it will be like stuck there sometimes. Even though when I wash my hands like sometimes I forget to like really scratch out the like, my nails out. But then anyways, um so yeah, and then and I was eating like wings with the fork, you know, like just like this, you know, like biting the meat off, and I can take out all the meat like that. Like it's it's very easy. But, like or other people like in America, they would be like, use your hands, you know, use your hands. And, like I'm like I'm so used to like doing that though, and I don't want to get up and wash my hands. You're trying to be sea man. Yes. Okay. I was trying to be sea man, but then but hey, people don't care as much, so it's good. That's good. Yeah, I didn't realize like it was. But it's like it's funny because obviously Filipinos we use our hands to eat a lot and also in Indian Sri Lankans you know eating curry we always use our hands. You gotta you know build this intimate bond with the food you eat. <laughs> yeah right. And it adds some flavor. Haha. <laughs> no sweat flavor. Um, do beans make you fart? It makes me dance. <laughs> um, everything makes you fart. Beans, beans, and beef specifically make me fart. Well, we're so. up for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like up there. If it does, because a lot of things make me fart. Coffee, you know, in the morning. Oh, that's what it's morning. I farted a lot. Was wasn't I? Wasn't I? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Oh, so full already, bro. Because I, oh, I did eat cereal right before this because I could not wait. I was very hungry at that time. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. Yeah, like our parents used to be so strict about like, well, you don't eat anything before. I'm cooking dinner right now. Oh my God, you're right. Like, no snack before. Don't, you're going to spoil your dinner. Mm. You're going to spoil your dinner. I'm going to spoil you. Just kidding. I'm gonna spoil mom. you, yeah. I'm gonna spoil you, ma, with mm -hmm. gifts. <laughs> What's her birthday soon? Mm, mine just passed. <gasps> Happy birthdays to our mothers. We their their month is their month is September. Twenty fifth night of September. <laughs> da 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 da. We have an exciting opportunity to share with our North American fans. Some of you probably wonder, how can I spend a couple years in a place like Macau to immerse myself in language? and culture. Here's how the University of St. Joseph's Harriet Lowe Scholarship. AKA live in Macau while getting a free master's degree. If you are a woman from the continent of North America, just like Harriet Lowe was, you are eligible for this full tuition scholarship to get a master's degree. The University of St. Joseph is an international university in Macau that offers a range of graduate programs in a diverse learning environment. This is your chance to spend a couple years in Asia like you've always wanted while boosting your career at the same time. So check out the description below for more information or visit usj.edu.mo. Go live in Macau! Wow! All right. If you were, did I ask you this question already? What? If you were to choose one cuisine for the rest of your life, cuisine, mm. what would it be? Thai. Okay, maybe I ask you because I have the same answer. Mm. Oh, also I mean, Thai. For a dentist, Korean. 
Really? Yeah, he grew up with Korean food. And he likes, I guess, all Korean food. What would Tyler's cuisine be? I think he mentioned Cuban. Cuban? Because he likes Cuban taste and stuff. Yeah. So, or Mexican. I think he was like, like stuck with the cheese too. Mm. But yeah, I uh, love Thai. Like, there's a all, like everything of the form is good you know what I mean like there's just so many to choose from and I get it uh, obviously other cuisines as well like J- Japanese mm-hmm. I would like to mm-hmm. because too. the takoyaki yak- 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 ball takoyaki yak- yak- <laughs> ball that shit fire if, if like if you chose if you're like I want Thai I'll be okay fine I'll get Japanese I'll get Japanese because honestly not bad too you know what? I would change to Japanese because there is sushi and there is, you know, the ramen. Food, like, like, oh the my god. You know, yakisoba, like the lo mein. But Japanese lo mein? Yes, the only Taco thing yaki. that is not yaki, that's yakisoba. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. And then you have like mochi too. And they have Japanese cheesecake. Mm hmm. Yep, I'm happy with Japanese. Ha ha! Yeah. Because I mean, for me, with the Thai, the taco prow, and then the raw shrimp, sabiche, tom yum is good. Mm. Mm. I think that Thai is kind of basic. I also think so. Why is that the dish that got popular in America instead of tom yum? Like, I ordered tom yum in, in one of the Thai restaurants, but it, it was like Chinese food. Mm-hmm. And the soup was literally just. Like a basic broth, mm-hmm. maybe like a few mushrooms mm-hmm. and tofu, but I don't taste the sourness of tom yum or the the coconut cream. Sometimes they add coconut cream, no? Mm-hmm. It was like a very basic soup. Why is pad thai the dish that got popular? Yeah, but then the thing is also like the fact that it that, that did get popular, but still it's not like not everywhere has good pad thai. Like it's That's like true. I don't understand. Like this is the one thing that got popular, like so popular that. You still didn't mm-hmm. do right because pad thai in like actual Thailand is so fucking good. You know, like when it's actually like really good. Like if, even in Macau, like I'm gonna say, like it wasn't that good. Like because my sister ordered, I'm just like, why do you order? Pad thai? Or because you tried the one in Thailand already, no? Maybe that's why. Mm-hmm. Or like just just probably like more local places, like people that you know, like. Are out from Thailand or something like that, like probably they make it better. I feel like mm-hmm. like there's something sure. that's missing. Cause even yeah, the local flavors. Yeah, by here, you know you can't order a kaka, like there's not a lot of places that do kaka pao right. Okay, cause kaka pao <laughs> is mint meat, and then mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then they would come in like just cut meat, and I'm like, like and they call it basil stir fry, you know, like. They don't have kaka prao at all, even. They just call it that basil stir fry. Because that's supposed, that's what it is, right? Ah, kaka prao. Yeah, cooked with basil, yeah. Oh, so good. Hmm. All right. I'm so full. Okay. I'm sorry. I finished my meat. Which is your favorite sauce from these three sauces? Actually, this is pretty good. Ah, she likes the curry mustard. I usually have a different taste for sauces, but this is good. You know what? I saw in um, I think I I remember in Macau, dim jet, dim jet. You know, like the the seasonal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a seasonal thing that they have. It's like this guy, like. So the, there's this character called Dean Jet, and then it's, his name is Jack, and he just like is like a spy or something, right? And yeah. he steals sauces or something like that. <laughs> but then, but then, because you know, to to dip is dim, right? Dim, <laughs> dim is dim, like dim sum go dim, touch. Um, uh, but yeah, they have cu- like curry mustard like as one of it mm-hmm. all the time, and I'm like, ooh, this is good, but this is good, like. The what the one that I got in, in um Dim Chat is always the Singaporean. It's called Singaporean like uh, oh. curry mustard. 
I guess they have a party luster there, but I like this one better. <gasps> no offense! I think the best sauce I've tried in any restaurant so far is one from Raising Cane's, the chicken, mm. and two Taco Bueno, like in Arkansas. They have this sauce that's like buttermilk with jalapeno with like a little bit of just like spicy but also creamy. It was perfect, perfect balance of the flavors. Whoa. Mm. There's this place in uh, in Delray Beach called Eat Thai, E A T H A I. They're the only place that sells that raw shrimp that I like with that sauce that I like. Like they always Kim Sangha. Yes. And then they always tell you, like, it's very spicy. You know, I'm like, yes, it is <laughs> like sauce. Oh, I'm so full. Are you full? I can eat more. Damn, girl. My eyes are just big. My eyes. It's bigger than my stomach, that's for sure. That's what they're saying, huh? Yeah. I, your eyes are bigger than your stomach. Mm. I'm go hope. It's like a mukbang. 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 But people really eat a lot though. And do they, do they have to finish everything? I don't know how they do it. Yeah. Like, are they pooping while eating? Like, <laughs> It's like the hot dog eating contest, right? Um, isn't it in New York or something? Or Staten Island or something? I don't know. I saw the subway, like a longer subway eating contest. Damn. Oh, <sighs> If you're just looking at at them eat, I just you're full. Yeah. So yeah, how is your week so far in Delray Beach? Yes, me. It's been it's been two days. Right? I think so. I went to the beach yesterday. That was nice. Vamos comedo. Comer the taco. So blue. Koi tan. Come here, Langa. Come here, team. Hey, Langa. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Dad! Oh, I just wanted to shout out to you. Very, very, very good idea. Very good idea. Mm -hmm. oh, baby, I don't even know which is which. Oh, it looks so good! With the lamb, baby, lamb, 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 lamb. Chang Leng in 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 in, Maca in Asia, they don't really have, right? Like they don't use a lot. Yeah, they use Leng Mong more. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Delicioso. Dude, that looks so good. Can you say delicioso? <laughs> delicioso. Good, good, nice. Right now. Mm -hmm. Very wavy, and I got the surfer's itch. Apparently, that's the thing. Really, the surfer's itch. <laughs> um, um, yeah, nice weather. I like the lizards. Those are cool. They're cute. The tails go up. That's why, because like, what's it called? Uh, what's that? And Insect in the desert, Hor uh, Scorpio. Scorpio, like their their Scorpio. tail go up when they when they when they attack. You know, so I was mm -hmm. thinking, like, oh, are they like in attack mode? No, no attacks. Uh, yeah, biggest differences of New York versus Florida. The lifestyle is completely different. Here you see like vacation every day kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. New York is like. New York City or New York. Oh, good. Um, New York, like, where I live, I guess that's more chill, but still new to city. So people are like... And there's no ocean. Like, there's no beach. Mm. We have Hudson River. But, um, it's chill. Temperature difference. People different. There's a lot more Spanish here. The food is different. A lot more... Oh, the Mexican food was so good. If you want good Mexican food there... I don't know. I haven't found one yet. 
Ooh. Yeah, 20 minutes from here. We got tacos in the truck. Like, they barely speak English. Two seventy five per taco. Mm. So good. Okay, all the essential ingredients. No filler ingredients, okay? So good. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, if I knew how to speak Spanish, I would have ordered way more. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, Oh, there's like so many iguanas. Do you see those two iguanas right there? They just ran out. Like, what? Oh, because someone is walking there. That's why. Yay. Yeah, one more big thing, one difference, like when I went to New York City, is that uh, everybody wears shoes, you know? And <laughs> it's true because, I mean, I would wear shoes too. And I didn't realize it until I went there because I came from New Jersey, you know, Florida to New Jersey. And New Jersey people still wear sandals because we did beat, uh, we were by the beach at you that were time. By the, mm -hmm. That makes sense. You were by the beach, Jersey right? Shore. Flip flops. Yes. And then we went to New, in New York City from there. And we, we had like ch um, carry ons only. And so we couldn't like pack so much stuff. It was, we were going there for a wedding. So it's like, um, we were, we have our heel. I have my heels and like heels and slippers. Yeah. Slippers, not shoes. So when I, when I went to, I saw Nature, them coming out of the subway station and I was like, oh no, they're wearing slippers. Cause I have this, I mean, I think everyone in New York city knows like in the subway, it's like disgusting, like pee everywhere. And so you walk as like, you know, like what if it touches your toes? <laughs> No, I, I, like, it's only when I got to the city, really, I'm like, oh, my God. And then when I got to the subway, everybody's lo looking at us. Why are we wearing sandals? A lot of people, some people are just like, oh, tourists, you know, like, <laughs> oh, my God. And my feet were so dirty. Floridians. Floridians, baby. We are the Floridians people. I'm the Floridian people. Floridians. <laughs> New York, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello, Leda. Oh, yeah. Do you introduce yourself as like from Florida or from Macau? I was still saying like I'm from Macau. Because like if people say, if I mean, I'm just scared of the follow up questions. You know, if I say I'm from Florida, then they might go like, oh, we're from Florida. And I'm like, yeah, they're at the beach. And then they start talking to me, maybe like, oh, I'm from Florida. Well, I actually moved here from four years ago. Like, yeah, oh, and then it's going to be the whole story again. So it's like, but my mindset, you know, what I grew up with is Macau. So it's, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like yeah. my, my grew up stories, my where am I from stories is more set in Macau. But if I did move again, then I would say I'm from Florida. You know what I mean? Why? Uh, because then I had a history here. And I could say, like, yeah, I've been here for four years. Just like that. <laughs> but then again, Florida is huge. So I don't know. Because, like, I know people, so, like, a lot of people in Macau were like, uh, Florida man, crazy. And then people, like, in the shows, they, they see Florida as crazy people. That's true. But Florida is huge. You know, where I, like my dad, <laughs> I live in the place Delray Beach. Uh, that's that's where Coco, you know, Coco, what, what's your name? I should know this. Coco, just put Coco in a bet, or you did first thing. Oh, Coco Goff, yeah, Coco Goff is uh, Delray Beach's. Tennis player that won the U.S. opening. And she's, she's 19. 19 years old. Oh, youngest yeah. to have won since Serena Williams in 1999. So, that's a big deal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not like I know her or anything. I'm just saying, like, that's where I am. And it's like, here, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of foreigners here, but it's not like it's not like as much as Miami, like Hispanic wise, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like where we are at now is pretty chill compared even, to where it, even Miami. at the airport, like the staff were all speaking Spanish. Yeah. It's like they have billboards that are only in Spanish in Miami. But then here there's it's just when I I remember when I first came out right. like it feels like a different country almost. Like I went to yeah. Latin America somewhere 
That's what I th- thought when I went to Chinatown, bro. Like, it's like freaking China there. Like, they don't <laughs> even have English signs on the Chinese signs. Like, the Popeye. Like, oh, know? yeah. What was it? Bat Hung Guy. No. Bat. Bat Lock Guy. Bat Lock Guy. Bat Lock Guy. It was like, same everything except for the name. Yeah. Papa Guy or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> so, yeah. That's why, like, there's a lot of people that say that you don't have to leave America, you know, like, because there's just, like, so much that there's a little, little Italy, a little bit of a little, 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 right next to Chinatown. We need to open a little America in everywhere in the world. <laughs> like that, no? It's like, little America, and it's, it's just, like, burgers and fries, chicken fingers. What else do they have here? Uh... Is um the coleslaw that's American, right? That is American, yes. Southern chicken, um, southern fried mm, chicken, waffle, waffle and chicken, chicken, chicken waffles. waffles, chicken waffles. Damn, so heavy. Like, I cannot eat more than two bites of that before I'm like, okay, I'm cool. it's big. Yeah, too sad. <laughs> and then, um, what else? Um, what's that creamy seafood soup? Clam chowder. That New England clam chowder, lobster roll will include that too because y'all, America has that from Maine. I'm not gonna include pizza, but New York style pizza and the Chicago and deep dish, Chicago deep Gosh. dish, like the two main ones. Bagels, no, cream cheese, cream cheese bagel with salmon. They were, yeah. Bagel is nice. I always like that. Would probably be in Little America, if if anywhere. Yes, Little America. What else do they have? That should we add on to the America, Little America? These will just all be restaurants. You know what? It's what's fun. You know what's funny in Little Little Italy though, like all the restaurants are just like they sell pasta and pizza. You know, it's just all this. There might be some that is like selling like steaks and stuff or something like but it's just all it's all the same. No offense. Did you try it? Jokes. Jokes, okay. Um no. No, because I mean, you know who I am with these allergic to gluten. Like Right, 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 right. So literally that whole place is oh, useless to you. <laughs> maybe gelato. Or ste- mm. I guess if we go like steak, but steak is so expensive. You know, it's the most expensive meat. Steak, lobster and steak. Yeah, lobster is the steak version of seafood. Mm. Tuna is the chicken. The cow of the sea. <laughs> cow of the sea. And then chicken is the uh, tuna of the lamb. You know, because they have so much tuna meat, they just make it into cans. <laughs> like you don't see lobster cans, There's or is there a thing for lobster? Is there a lobster? I don't think so. I mean, that would be. I. You know what? Maybe. Maybe. I. I'm I mean, not I gonna be surprised anymore. Yeah. In this world, there's so many possibilities. 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 We'll be. We'll be perfect vocal for an ad. <laughs> Boyo tropical, Boyo tropical, Boyo uh, uh, tropical. Uh, uh. Cuban food, Cuban Ooh. food. There's cheesy yucca bites, sweet plantain, wedge fries, <laughs> and some chicken and churrasco steak. Yay! Oh, oh, you know what? I think this is the east. I mean, east side version of El Pollo Loco. East side version. There's a west side. Version. I think in west side it's called El Pollo Loco. Like that's that's like their like Latin chicken. That's like fast foody. But here they have a, they have a few. They have like La Brasa, La Granja, which they sell like similar stuff too. Like but Pollo Tropical is the cheapest. Like the more mm. most branch one. Like they have so much. But then they do have a lot more oh, here because it's New York. I, I don't know. I wonder if New York they have. At least El Pollo Loco, because I, I, you know what, have they like, might have right Rush Hour two or one, I think, like in the in the last part. Pollo had, Tropical. Do you remember the? No, 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 El Pollo Loco. They have. Oh. Remember the bloopers? 
he was trying to say, ah, pollo loco. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. That's what he was trying to say. He's, she's working at the, so what? She's working at the airport, oh. airport and she couldn't say it. And then Jackie Chan was, was just going, ah, pollo loco. And he was like, yeah, Jackie. <laughs> Dude, I watched those bloopers again and again and again and again. <laughs> I think it was Rush Hour 3, actually, I think. Because he shot the girlfriend or something, like uh, Chris Tucker mm-hmm. shot the girlfriend of Jackie Chan on the last uh, rush hour, and then so like Jackie Chan was not talking to him, and she was like, "So what?" I shot, him, shot her, and blah blah blah. And now she works at Oil El Pollo. <laughs> it's funny what stays in my head red for you, bro. I just remember them. I'm not you. I'm him. I'm me. Who's me? I, I just told you. <laughs> Are you blind? I, it is just what you I said. You is blind. Yes, you is blind. No, I'm not blind. Are you blind? Oh my god, so funny. So chaotic. Yes, it was chaotic. Such a funny movie. Oh, do you see the iguana right there in the edge of the water? Here, look here. Oh, yeah, I do. So big. Sunbathing. Part of you. I was like, <laughs> dude, you know, I, I tried watching uh, Little Mermaid on the plane. You what know, do you Coming back from Macau. And honestly, I know, same. It was mid. But you know it why? Okay. No, but you know why? I realized halfway through, I don't even like the cartoon. <laughs> so it's like, it was. Because it's like I, the whole time I'm like she's such a brat like what the fuck <laughs> I'm just like Ugh, uh, like you know <laughs> cringe like cringe all the way and it's not to do with the actress or anything and it's like I realize that it's because I don't like the movie because she's a brat I like Mulan because she's cool mm-hmm. like she she's fighting for her family you know what I mean. Like you're saying she was selfish, right? She just did her own thing. Yeah, she was late for the family reunion. <laughs> and then she's like, I'm going to go out and talk this. I just want to be with this guy. But then she goes and make a deal with the devil. I mean, with the Ursula woman instead of actually trying to talk to Eric. Okay, what kind of communication skill is that? I'm going to take out my communication skills so that I don't like can't talk to him. No, it's such a weird thing to think about. And obviously, you know, it's to follow the story, which is a fairy tale, which looks, you know, like it doesn't look dumb in the cartoon. It doesn't look as dumb in the cartoon because it's a cartoon, you know? Mm-hmm. It was like for children. But then see, in real life, it's like, girl, think a little. But fair enough. She has no idea, right? She was just like a fish out of water, literally. <laughs> but yeah, oh, when she's like leaving, you know, like leaving the, the prince to go, go like see the stuff and stuff. I'm like, yo, you're going to get lost. <laughs> then when we were trying to get them to kiss, I'm just like, just kiss already. Oh my God. Da, 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 da. Da, oh, da, da, and the music. Da, na, 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 na. Yeah, I just it just it wasn't good like in real life, you know, singing. You liked like, it better, musical mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah, I don't think Sebastian too, like, and, and also <laughs> I did not like. Yeah. You know, when when they were like saying that they heard gossip or whatever, that song was so annoying. Like we heard the scale, we we hear the. I don't even remember the songs in the movie. It wasn't so memorable. Yeah. I just, it was not it. That That's was okay. All. Yeah, it's nothing to do with any actor. Like, actors. I didn't connect to the character so much. Yeah. You know what they should do is new, uh, the Emperor's new, new Brew. Mm. They should do that. Uh, they should do Sinbad. That would How would they cool. do a llama, though? That would be hard. CGI, bro! CGI! Yeah. I imagine like it looking like the the guy the goat person from Narnia Tom. Oh yeah. You know? Or maybe the the second one with the with the guy Kronk. Remember the se- the second one was good too. I don't know if you watched it. It's about the story yes. about the Kronk. Yes, guy. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I cried out on that one. It was, like, it was emotional. What's the the villain's name? Fuck, I forgot. She's like a. She looks like a Ursula. Yeah. <laughs> the skinny version. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, isn't there a skinny?
skinny version of Ur- Ursula in like the Mar- Little Mermaid cartoons. Like the, the other episodes. other movie, like the episode. Oh yeah, the other movie mm-hmm. also. Are they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and they have episodes. I think like on Disney that that I would watch occasionally on Sundays. I, I don't know, but sometimes it would, it would be thinner. Auntie, maybe it's the thinner auntie. Maybe it's a different woman. A sister, another sister, another octopus sister. Wow, that's cool. Atlantis. Atlantic mm. City would be nice. That'd be cool to see, like, if they actually with costumes and stuff, or like makeup. Yeah, it would. That would be nice. That would be underwater too, right? Cause Road to there. El Dorado. <gasps> I was thinking about the name of that because I was like saying Simbad, and then they're like the same kind mm-hmm. of like uh, DreamWorks, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Road to El Dorado. Very nice. I think that's possible. Yeah, for right? sure. Two For sure. I think that would be fun. I can't stop eating these plantains. Do it. Eat it I all, gotta... baby. Eat it all, baby. I'm so full. It's like plantains is the type of food that I have to have like meat and rice together. Like I don't uh, want to just eat plantains. You know what I mean? Like it's like vegetables for me. Like I don't want to just eat the vegetables. It has to be with meat and rice. Paula. Thank you for Thank watching. You. Thank you. And uh, like and subscribe. Uh, feel free to send us a voice message. Uh, I don't know this one if you are shy. Haha. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye bye. Mm. Mm.